What's up guys? Irish here from Bravo 520, bringing you guys another video. Um, today the video is going to be about, oh, not really about, but it's going to be a, a two-in-one video um, at being um, a kit update on my Condor MLPC, and I'm going to show you how I modified my Condor MLPC to uh, have it sit higher and more comfortably on my body. So I figured I'd just jump straight into the kit update, just being a little easier, and then um, I'll get everything situated and I'll show you what I did, um, or how I modified this vest to sit higher and comfortably and to where you don't get that, um, that sluggish look and dragging, um, everything down look on the vest. So, um, as you can see, change up the front a bit. I went with this because, um, to me it looked a lot better than just having the Condor triple double stacker M4 pouch. I went with the uh, Condor um, double stacker flat pouch. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll have the um, info and everything in the description below. So just be sure to check that out if you have any questions about it. So inside there, I just keep um, two Elite Force 140 round mid caps each. And then going over here, I just have my Condor pistol pouch. Originally, I had the uh, replica ITW fast mag, but it didn't really look very good, so I just put the uh, pistol pouch just there, and it looks a lot better. Um, going further back, I got the Condor mag inserts. Um, I'm not going to lie, they are not the best mag inserts, but I modified them to where it would fit a lot better, and just be a lot better, because it isn't what I hoped it would be, but it's alright. So, um, going up, still have the Condor admin pouch. Um, I, modified, or, uh, I moved my BTT a little bit, I put it higher, that way it doesn't sit so low on my vest and doesn't get in the way of my mags. Now going to the right side of my vest, I just threw on my um, GI Tonto 2 cold steel blade. Um, threw that on there just because it looks pretty cool and I didn't really have anything else to put right there. I mean, I didn't want to put um, a pouch because it'd be unnecessary since my right side is my dominant side for holding my weapon. So I like to keep everything nice and tight, everything aimed down the sights. Um, so I just threw that there just to take up the empty spot. Going further back, I have a, uh, I'm not sure if it's Condor or some, some unknown brand. But it's a, it's a, what is it, double stacker M4 pouch, but I made a banger, a fake banger, I threw that in there. This is for a buddy, of course, because as you can see, I'm having some trouble getting out of the banger out. Um, threw that on there, because when we go to Vanguard, I'll have a buddy reach in there throw it around the corner, scare the crap out of some kids. They see that it's not a real grenade. Everybody laughs. Okay, I'm trying to get this back in there. That's correct. Um, I'll go to the left side down. Over here, as I explained earlier, I have my ITW uh, replica fast mag. Just threw a high cap in there just because, you know, um, I'll either have it for when uh, me and my team are out on our field and we get in a heavy situation to where you can't keep just changing mags, so I'll just wind the mag and uh, we're ready to go. Or I could take the BBs out of this, put it into a speed loader, and then load it into my mid caps. Um, on further back, I just have a uh, one big ass zip tie for uh, Milsim, Milsim type games. Um, speaking of Milsim, uh, Bravo 5 Tool has a new field now. We are no longer at the pits because I guess, according to everybody, the pits suck. Um, that's all right. We got a we got a new field. It's got a lot of buildings. Um, some desert terrain. I believe it was an old Air Force base. It's just off the radar and just checking it out. So hopefully that's gonna be a, a fun time. We're gonna be going Saturday morning and Sunday morning. So if you guys are watching this and I live here in Arizona, come join us. So. I jump to 
the back panel here with me because I don't know where I'm pointing, I just know where everything's at. So, um, right here is my Condor uh, GMP pouch. In there, I just keep uh, batteries, uh, CO2, everything like that. I can't remember what I put in there actually. And going to the right of that, I have my Condor gadget pouch. Inside that, I run my um, the other side, or the wire for my PTT that goes into my radio. My radio is in there as well. It's the one we'll talk about. <coughs> the little blue one. Um, I think I keep some extra batteries and CO2 in there. Can't really remember. Um, we have a visitor. Anyways, um, going further down is my Condor TNT pouch. Inside there, I keep my tools, um, medic gear, and um, everything else like that. So, um, I think that about covers it. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, just comment below. Um, I'll do my best to help you out. Um, so, from here, I'll show you how I modified this vest to where it's higher and comfortably. And the uh, shoulder pads are actually on your shoulders rather than slugging all the way down here. And when you run, everything's bouncing around. Now with my modification, everything's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. So stay put and I'll explain to you what I did. So jumping into how I modified the vest, all I really did was the shoulder straps, how they had the female buckle piece and the male buckle piece. They had their own little um, the little straps, I guess you can call, that are right here. All I did was took off the male buckle piece, and then I just put the straps back on for the uh, Velcro pieces that adjust your, uh, your plate carrier on the shoulders. And this is not temporary, but it's just for now. So far, it's worked for me. I just took an old bootstrap, or two of them. No, I took one, just cut it in half. All I did was just lace it through the uh, two loops. If you can see that. Sorry if you guys can't really see, because I'm not a very good cameraman. But that's how I did it. Just looped them together. And then I didn't really want to leave the male buckle piece off. So what I did, I took my one point bungee sling, cut that bad boy in half, and then woven it to the buckle piece. So now, plug that into there. So hard to do with one hand. Ugh, this is frustrating. But, yeah, hopefully you guys get the idea. Um, for me, this helped me out a lot. It actually made my um, MOPC sit a lot higher, comfortably. Everything's a lot closer. I don't have to reach all the way down and grab anything um, my vest is no more or, uh, my vest is not uh, what's the word I'm looking for my vest isn't sagging anymore compared to how other people with the MOPC their vest would just be sagging and bouncing around and just really uncomfortable and making you look like a complete goofball out on the field so um, I think that just about does it like I always say in my videos, and I feel like I say it too much, but if you guys have any questions, comment below, or send me a message on here, and I will be more than happy to help you out. So, oh, and another thing, uh, like I was saying about the new field, it's an uh, old Air Force base. We're going to be going out there Saturday and Sunday morning at 7. So if you guys want to join us, you guys are more than welcome to. Um, should be a fun day. <laughs> So, 
Irish from Bible 520 is out of here. Later, guys.